a lot and it works with me and for me and numbers have incredible power and this number six of 213 will not be back until another nine years so what does that number mean it means mastery and a lot of a lot of us in our prayer group we just turned 60 and uh, this year also and it's actually a double whammy here because you are turning 60 and you are in the year of six. So you have even more support from the cosmos. You have more support uh, to help you become a master. Now when we say that become a master, this is an ongoing process. It's not something you say, okay, I am a master now. No, this is something you work every day to be that master and it comes to you you grow into that role it's not something i'm going to say i'm a master now you will be if you understand that you have the power the time is right so there are a lot of energies now we are coming on this planet from solar uh, flares etc and this is a time for enlightenment and some of us might get a bit fearful and scared because a lot of emotions are coming up. And um, it's interesting that the last, um, Reverend Leslie spoke, uh, and then last uh, week it was Ms. Gura, and Mark is gonna speak next week. And it's all kinda interesting because we don't talk to each other and we don't know what each other will be speaking about but I can already sense what Mark is going to be talking about. It's like it's like it's all hinging. This is this this month alone is very very powerful. You are receiving a lot of wisdom. All you have to do is allow it to sink in and do something with it. But yes, this is the year of taking responsibility as well. Because life, friends, is so exciting, and it is what you make it, of course, you know that. And often, before we can start something new, we have to die to the old. That means the habits, the wrong thinking, you name it. That first has to go. And when that's gone, you will be open to receive new guidance. But we can talk about it, and only the action will bring it about, of course. So uh, what I like to talk about is it starts all with you and with me. And just as we can make this place a beautiful center, it starts with me, it starts with you. We have to support the leadership in, if we really like to be here. And I am saying that because I am supporting my own way, and so does everybody else. And it, and it doesn't matter how much you give, it matters what you give from your heart. And so know that when you leave this place, you are just like an ambassador for this place. So think about what you're saying, okay? Often we have a little things happening and we may be disappointed, but really, really think about it. When we come from love, 
there's always forgiveness and sometimes it's really ourselves we in ourselves are unhappy with things so it's it's a two-way street we forgive and we are forgiven it starts with you and it boils down to one thing say yes to your heart source what am i saying here say yes to where your mastership resides it is in your heart and why do you think so many people need open heart surgery that is because the heart chakra has been blocked it has been blocked because of hurt it has been blocked because of resentment it has been blocked for fear you name it and so when we start again to open the heart chakra which we can only do by simply wanting to start fresh and forget what was we are not forgetting it but forgiving it we never forget we don't have to forget but we have to allow newness to come in just like in the meditation you went in your room of serenity and what did you do before you left your backpacks they were full full of hurt resentment you name it so remember when you came down from it the mountain and you had the angels transmute it all so try not to fill them up again right now okay <laughs> try to try to keep it light and that's again is your job and my job i cannot do it for you and you cannot do it for me what i'm saying is uh that all is within you and um any organization or any any um church they all teach really the same it's just a matter how they teach it and sometimes they do get into the fear base but there's a reason for that so you have to ask yourself do you need to go to a place where you hear this fear based over and over no you don't and that's why you're here i would say so you have understood that all is already within you so i am saying i'm not saying that you shouldn't um you shouldn't listen to any of that but you do need to use discernment okay use discernment and if something and even here i am speaking whatever i say to you if it doesn't ring true in your heart it's most probably not your uh, your truth it's my truth and just let let it be uh you use your own discernment because you on your path i'm on my path but i'm not saying not to listen because even if you go to places where you normally won't go you will always learn something even if you just learn what you don't want to do or what you don't want to hear you know it's it's making making a statement so what i'm saying about this is say yes to your heart source and learn to become a master and this is the year i cannot say it enough um because you have all the help you can get from the universe and it is an ongoing process and it seems like we people learn so much more through hardship and we learn so much more from making the same mistake over and over but you don't have to do that anymore all you have to do is be still go within and that's what i guess a lot of people are afraid of because the demons come up when you're too still but they want you to deal with them they're here to they say come on do something about it and so this is the year if there's anything in your life you really feel you need to change and it seems like in this year that wherever i look around people are looking for a change it's like this year is propelling them forward to go somewhere to do something somewhere else start something new and anybody who has the courage to say i want to start something new today this year 
I, I find very, very, very powerful. So you need to ask yourself, do I want to stay with status quo or do I want to change? Listen to your heart, it's all in your heart. And we are in this new age, uh, give us so many opportunities and we don't have to be enslaved anymore in our fears. How do we do this? We stop giving power to it. And that's what we are doing. You know, the ego is always working hard to tell you, who do you think you're fooling? You can't do this. Yes, you can. If that means if that means you have to move, maybe. If that means you have to go somewhere else. Listen to your heart. You have closed your heart a long time. And so now is the time to open this heart chakra. And by the way, that sh chakra dancing will do that. You know what Birgit is going to do, you know? She didn't tell me to plug this now, but I'm just, I, I know this is part of it. Because this is very good, because even in yoga, we do that when we balance our chakras. So it's, it's my time and your time to do what? It is our time to claim the wisdom, the freedom. And freedom to become whom we see in our mental eye or heart, whom we want to be. You have to be the change you have seen in your mental eye. You can't wait for other people to do it for you. They might help you on your way, but you still have to do it yourself. And with all the freedom does come a lot of responsibility. Uh, anytime we exercise our freedom in speech or freedom in action, we have re responsibility for the consequences of our action and thoughts, and often we forget that. So when you balance your mind with your heart, you most likely are going to come out balanced to whatever it is that you want to start, what it is that you're saying. So remember that. Remember that the impact of your words and actions can have a detrimental effect on somebody else. So always stay calm. If you stay in your heart, you will stay calm because you now see what the other person who's on the receiving end will feel. If we would always remember that, we would be so much way ahead and we would, we would show our mastership. So it all stems from loving yourself enough first. And you can love yourself enough to free yourself from slavery. You said there's no more slavery? Yes, there is. There is slavery of regret, slavery of shame, slavery of habits. There are a lot of lessons here. And a lot of us are still enslaved to that. So as long as you hold anger, if you think, oh no, I don't have any of that. But if you hold anger still against another person, you are in slavery of that emotion. And yes, you say, I have been deeply wounded maybe. And you say, I don't want to see that person anymore. And that is, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you can, in the absence, send love. This is not Pollyanna talk. This is what Jesus taught us. And it is actually, we talked about that in the healing circle. It is a very easy thing to do. Or should I say no, it is a simple thing to do. Is it easy? That's for you to say. But you gotta start somewhere. You gotta stop being enslaved in your habits. You want things to change? Change your habits. And that, of course, starts in your mind. There's a lot of stuff to think about this year. And 2013 is the year to do all that, as I said. Uh, and it's interesting also that you might find that your friends, friends you have been very close to, or you thought you were very close to, are suddenly uh, 
changing or you wonder you're not that close anymore and you ask yourself, what did I do wrong here? Something different. Well, I can tell you, you didn't do anything wrong. What is happening is a great awakening that the people you were very close to at one point, and maybe you have been their mentor or you have been their teacher in so many ways, they suddenly realize that all what they admired in you, they have in themselves. So yes, they are going to become independent of you. And you might stand there and wonder. But if you allow them to go, others will come. Because if you're a teacher, you will always have new students. You have to allow the others who might have, just might have outgrown you. Allow that. So what I'm saying is here that you have it all inside of you already. You are born with this treasure drove of lots of wisdom. And you do not need somebody to tell you what to do. It's just like when I stand here and say all that. These are just words. It is up to you what you do with them. And as I said, if they ring true in your heart, you might be able to take a tidbit home and think about it more. Because I am not a preacher, I'm a teacher. So with that saying that, I'm here to remind you who you are. Powerful, powerful humans. Each one of you, you are very powerful. Believe that, trust that, take that in. And as I'm saying, you don't need anybody else to tell you what to do. If you understand that all you have to do is go within. I have to say I've been this year 20 years in the ministry and uh, this was my calling, it still is on a small scale now, but it's still my calling and it always will be. Once you're a minister, it's something which is a calling. It's not when you go home, you turn off the switch and it's something you always, you're kind of more or less always on call somehow and you don't mind that. And I can only say that all the people in my life who have given me a hard time and uh, they were my teachers. They were my taskmasters. And I can tell you I had plenty, <laughs> and plenty to learn. And they are the ones who taught me so well that when I went into the ministry, oh, it was, it was easy. The years before, I had to learn how to deal with mankind. You know, and so uh, it's all of us, if we remember that that's what we're here for, to learn from one another. So, friends, whatever you decide, and I know that each one of you have your own path. I have mine, and I might not be able to relate to yours. And if you ask me, I will relate only what I can. And then again, you use your discernment. Is this applying to me or not? Because remember that the good Lord has already given you everything you need. Just remember that. And I'm here to tell you that you do not have a savior. And if I said that in a fundamental church, I guess I would be taken out <laughs> through the back door right now. <laughs> but what I'm saying, what I mean is, <clears throat> you do not have a savior because there is no need for salvation. Because each one of you and I will come back to who we are. God's in the making eventually. Some of you now already, some of you in this year, some of you later. But in eternity, it's an eye blink. What am I saying? I'm saying that you have learned yourself as a little child 
when it is safe to cross the street. You have learned that. And now that you are grown up, you have learned much more and it's your time to apply it all. And there is really no overall teaching other than love. This lesson is all about freeing yourself from slavery. I can't say that enough. Slavery of anger, holding on to any kind of resentment towards someone else, or maybe even anger towards yourself for maybe having missed out this and that. It takes mastery, it takes power, and it is not hard to do because it is all a matter of will. It is a matter of intent. Once you connect yourself to who you are, and if you still don't know who you are, guess what? Go into your heart source, and your heart will tell you, because your heart never judges you. Your heart is there to always support you. It's called the universal heart source. So what are you waiting for? This is the year, dear friends, and you will be able to live a life of passion and truth and success if you listen to your heart. Not always the mind is telling you the truth because the mind often is relying on the ego, but your heart source is where everything divine comes from. So remember that if this is, if you feel in this year that there are things you need to change in your life, do it this year. As I said, this momentum, it's like you're going to the train station and the train is coming and you're not sure if you should hop on it. The next train of this energy will be in 2022. So think about that. And so what are you waiting for, friends? Time is now to be free and thank the Lord for everything. And everything is already yours. Believe it. Trust it. And so it is. Namaste, Shanti, and God bless. Bless all the paths of people to be free. Bless.